Finally, some relief for the devastated island community of Tonga and really relief for the Tongan community here in the Bay Area. Today, supplies and communications are being restored. The emergency aid, mainly from Australia and New Zealand, is the first to arrive since Tonga was hit hard by that volcanic eruption and tsunami. NBC's Robert Honda spoke with some local Tongans. This is a photo of Lonnie Faiva's son, his wife, and their daughter taken the day before the volcanic eruption and tsunami. The island has been cut off for nearly a week, and Lonnie wasn't able to talk to them at all until late last night when limited communication lines were restored. I'm so thrilled and I'm so happy, so blessed. You'll think, thank God every day, every day, day and night. Lonnie says she finally got to ask her family how they are. How is the baby doing? How are you guys doing? How is the food, you know? All they said is water, water. That's all they asked for. The owner of Kumar's Island Market in San Jose says many Tongans have come in after talking to their families, sending personal relief packages. People on their own, families are coming together, packing stuff, getting it together. And there's a company in Oakland that's uh, coordinating it and doing free shipping. That company, SF Enterprises, told us it is encouraging families to call ahead or go through its website. It is also helping with a big Tongan relief effort next week in San Francisco. So water, masks, dry non-perishable foods, um, and any medical supply. You know, I, I know some people are bringing masks with respirators on them. Lonnie says it's far from over. She couldn't reconnect today. No, it's not easy. I've been trying maybe almost 50 times. But even limited communication has helped a lot. Those coordinating relief efforts now have a better idea of what's needed and relieved families say not knowing was the worst part. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.